in the house of God at this moment on the 31st of December 2011 many of us some of us who have made it but by the power and strength and the purpose God was having for us that's why we are standing and sitting tonight here and as we can prepare an offering unto God an offering that says thank you Lord for things that you have carried me through you and I know the difficulties that we have experienced in this year you and I know the hard soul that we went through you and I know the struggle that we went through but God was there for us isn't it he was there for us. So on such a day, you can't, you can't just to be excited. You cannot withhold it. You have to express it, what the Lord has done for you. God said to Abram, I will provide. Don't worry, I will provide. So I don't know what do you have tonight to give to the Lord. And whatever it is, it might be big, it might be small, it might be the last thing it must be the last one as God has promised Abram and has said I will provide the Lord will provide also into your life tonight and tonight is a night of thanksgiving out of abundance of your heart how little, how small how big it is as long as it comes from your heart you remember the widow when Elijah came to her and said let me eat first from that little how many of us could have shared it little that we have with the man of God or with the servant of God and he also said if I eat it today I will die meaning that it was a last but the moment he gave it out the Lord doubled the oil in the jars the Lord doubled the flour in, 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 in a basket so the night is a night of thanksgiving unto the Lord unto the Lord Amen. he will provide he, he is not meant to lie he said I know the plans that I have for you yes. I know before you was formed in your mother's womb I, I, I gave uh, on Wednesday a testimony to Sister Grace and, 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 and my son Lucas no matter Lucas I said to them, if it wasn't for the Lord, if it wasn't for the Lord, some of you know me, could even have said by today, there was someone like deny also in Ludras. But he said, I know in the plans that I have for you, I have chosen you. I have chosen you, not you for me. Yes, yes we have said, yes, Lord, here I am. But he have called you on your name because he has chosen you already. I could have been dead. I told them that what happened because of my calling I was, I'm still in a vast font upon people. I don't want people to mess up with other people's lives. And it happened so that my calling every man he come with scratch marks in his face is a male. He come with scratch marks in his face. And I said enough is enough. And we were having the year in function of 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 of, of, of Town Council. And I, I said to I said to him, today is the day that I will show your girlfriend who I am. Just fed up of him fighting you, and because of you, who's a gentleman, you don't want to fight the back, which is good. But I will show her today. And it happened that we form a clique. And we fought that lady. And she chose me the next morning to come and look for me and fight me back. But she didn't come alone. She came with a sister which is having a history of stabbing people. And it's just by the grace of God when she came and knocked. And Lucas was the one who opened and said, I cannot allow you to come in because my mother is sleeping. And they insist open the door and he ran and came and said open the door there's people so when I came out I was struggling now to fight the door to close the door imagine in the night I was stashed 
and I was kung fu left mm -hmm. and right. In the morning, I was the type of charge and I was jumping no for rescue. So by jumping there, the knife fall out of the pocket. Can you picture for a moment? While I was sleeping, and Lucas could have opened the door, what could have happened? Can you just picture that for a moment? And I said to them, the plants that God has for me, not even the enemy, would have stolen it. Because God he knew anointed fire in pictures has to start in Lutheran's He knew there's one girl that can do it and he preserved my life. And that's why I'm so thankful to the Lord. I have a lot of testimonies and so are you. Tonight, as we prepare our offerings, a thanksgiving offerings, for the Lord, how big, how small, just that I'm adding is not even enough. I even said to them, if I want my one million, I will build the biggest house for the Lord. And Lucas will say, what about the house? I say, I will build the house with the chains. And then he said, then I will move to the church. Because everything goes to the church. But he don't know what I went through and what I had to think to do in life that I am what I am today. When you, when you went through things, Jesus, when you go through stabilization, when you go through suffering, you will appreciate the Lord. And today what I'm having is not enough. I can't, I can't outgive him because he has given me and my life double, 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 double. So I have encouraged you with Genesis 22. Just like God has provided for Abram, a lamb, a lamb, he will provide for you. Just as like God has provided for the widow woman, he will provide for you. Like I was ministering last night in my thoughts with this. The Lord speak to me and say, Dina, you know why? Does the world look like the world like the world says that the church is poor? Do you know why? Because you and I don't want to give him a chance to prove that he's rich. We don't want to give him a chance. And I ask him, but how should we give you a chance to prove to the world that you are a rich God, that you're not a liar, that you are what the words that you are? He said, but start giving. Start giving. The more you give, the more I will give. People want to believe what I will do in your life. And it was a spoken word from God. It was a word that the Lord said. And I'm going to give it tonight to you. It's up to you whether you want to run with it in 2012 or you want to leave it. But that's what he said. I want to show the world that I am a rich God. And I need you and you and you and will to do it. This is what he said. And we are selfish. We are sitting with the last spirit. We are turning from head to tail. From head to tail. What should I do? How should I spend it? Build my kingdom. And I will hold yours. And you and I know what is our kingdom. So I encourage you tonight. Whatever you have, give it to the Lord. Thanksgiving offering. If you want, you can write your request on it. Because I brought a lot of things. And then we can give it unto the Lord. With a cheerful heart, generous giving. <coughs> For those who doesn't have envelopes, I still have few envelopes. Build the kingdom of God and God will build yours. If you have offering, then also want to put it in an envelope and write on it. You're welcome. You get one mixing. Can you pass me those envelopes, please? Is some few left. If you have over offerings, just the way you answer the mixing can give you. The worship team will sing, and we will offer and take over. Yes, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
everything that we have. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can I just stand so that we can dig very deep in our pockets? Hallelujah. I don't think we will be able to reach everything in a sitting position. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us stand and give unto the Lord. Because his word declares that give and I will give unto you back again a great measure pressed down and shaken together running over. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Can we stand as a prayer? Hallelujah.